Hi, this is Mrs. Barb. I'm going to show you stamp game division with a two-digit divisor. Our problem today here is 4,368 divided by 32. Let's get our divisor out with Skittles. There's two in the units place for our divisor. We'll get out two green Skittles to show our units for the divisors. In our divisor in the tens place, we have three. I'm gonna get out blue Skittles to represent the tens in the divisor. One, two, three. Move them up just a little bit closer here. I have a small mat to work with. We're going to set out our dividend right about here. We need eight units. Can you see them? Yep, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Six tens. One, two, three, four, five, and six tens. Three hundreds. One, two, Three, three hundreds. In the thousands place, we have four thousands. Four, one, two, three, four. So this is our dividend, 4,368. Now it's all set up. We are ready to start dividing. We're going to move our thousands down and divide those. There they go. Those are going to get divided into our divisor of three in our tens, divisor's tens place. Our hundreds get to come down because they are going to be divided up among units in the divisor. So, one for you, one for you, one for you. Now, out of the hundreds that go to the units, one for you and one for you. Do we have any more than rows we could make? Nope. So we are done with the thousands place. Let's trade this in. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I should put it out here. That's kind of a fun thing to do when you make a trade. One thousand is worth ten hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And our hundreds are going to move over. Some people like to leave them in a pile like that. I don't care for that because I can't see how many I've got. Reduces the room for error. There's 10, and there's one more, so we have 11 hundreds. Those are going to get distributed among the tens, and these from our dividend are gonna come down and get distributed among the units. Here we go. One, two, three. And two for the units, two tens for the units. One, two, three. And two 
tens for the units. One, two, three for the tens. And one for you and one for you for the units. I don't have any more tens left. Let's trade this. Oh, I forgot to do that. I said it was fun and I forgot to do it. We'll do it in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tens. Ten tens and one hundred. Can we do it? No. We're going to have to trade that one in too. I think our hundreds are done. How many tens do we get out for that hundred? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten tens in one hundred. There we go. Now this is going to take a while to get all straightened up, but we're going to move them over as I straighten them out. There's a 10. You can easily see it's a 10. Here's another 10. Two rows of five is what I'm making. Just to make sure that I've got it right. All right. Okay, so those are 20 that are gonna get distributed among the tens. All these tens are gonna to go to these tens. And we'll bring our, down our units. so that they can get distributed to these units. I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough room. Let's try it. One for you, one for you, one for you in the tens. One for you and one for you in the units. to make a nice tight rectangle. Because if they're loose and sloppy, it's really easy to make a mistake. So it's good to make them nice and tight so that we don't make mistakes. And if we do, we just have to go back and fix them. You all know I've done that a few times. Oh, I'm out of units. This one is going to volunteer to trade and make some more units. It's getting ready. How many units in a 10? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've got some more units to work with. Can you still see? I'm going to move up a little. Here's my units that I'm going to be working with. There. So these tens will continue. We can continue passing out these tens now. We've got a lot of tens and units to work with. This guy can't. Oh, we're done. There isn't enough to pass out and make a whole nother row. So we are done distributing. Now the answer, which is called the quotient in division, is what one Skittle gets in the units place. This guy is pretty special. He's got the answer. Let's split this out so you can see. I'm going to separate it just a little bit so you can see what the answer is, what the quotient is. It is 100, 3 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. Now these guys couldn't get passed out or distributed, but we're not going to forget about them. I'm just going to put them down here for now. Let's write our quotient down. 
one in the hundreds place, because we have one hundred. One, two, three tens. And one, two, three, four, five, six in the units place. We're not quite finished writing the answer because we can't forget about these. Even though we couldn't distribute them, they're still part of the problem. So we need to write them as a remainder. Can you still see? Yep. Okay. With an R and one in the tens place and one, two, three, four, five, six in the units place. So our quotient is 136 with a remainder of 16. That is how we do stamp game two-digit division, division with a two-digit divisor. This is in place of using test tubes if you're finding it's too hard to make test tubes at home. It is quite a chore to make test tubes at home, but everybody's getting stamp games. So I wanted to show you this. And the next lesson, we will use test tube language to show you how to write long division using stamp game. That's the end of our lesson. Thanks for watching.